Alrighty, folks, big day for the Montreal Canadiens who trade Tyler to Foley, that's right, to the Calgary Flames for a first round pick, a fifth round pick in 2022, Emil Heinemann, as well as Tyler Pitlick. So that's four assets for Tyler to Foley. Obviously, an extremely useful player for us uh, when things were going well, which it's not. So, all right, um, let's start off with Tyler to Foley. Uh, Tyler to Foley, in the context of the Montreal Canadiens, I didn't think he would be the first to move. Um, but he is. So it's sad to see a player of that value go. Somebody that had chemistry with our boy Cole Caulfield, Nick Suzuki. It just seemed to gel. Uh, wrote a little bit about the city of Montreal, how he's not necessarily born to be it, but was meant to be a Montreal Canadian, something along those lines. So obviously a guy that wanted to play here, which was... Um, you know, as a UFA to sign here in Montreal, for those of you who may not be fans of the Habs, uh, obviously there's pressure here that comes with people that are as psycho as me, but are a bit more negative um, when it comes to the Montreal Canadiens. So for a guy to come here and want to play is important. Um, so we're losing that. And of course, his goal scoring ability, uh, a guy who won a cup in L.A., so all of those things we're going to be lacking. But in the context of the Montreal Canadiens this season, where everything has gone to shit, uh, part of my French, um, it makes sense. Now, some people looking at this deal, first, fifth round pick in 2022, Emil Heinemann, apparently the ceiling is probably a bottom six forward, so nothing really crazy there. Uh, he's from the 2020 uh, draft, if I'm not mistaken, and was a pick for uh, the Florida Panthers, who went the other way in the Sam Bennett deal. And then obviously Tyler Pitlick, who is red, Rem Pitlick's brother and Rhett Pitlick, who is also a part of the Habs organization. So uh, we got the trio from what I gather. Um, but coming back to the hall here is that this is going to be a good deal if obviously you hit on the first round draft pick. Um, and that's the most important part. Because Emil Heinemann is not going to come in and, and suddenly change the ceiling. Apparently, he's putting up some good numbers in the SHL as a young forward. Didn't impress that many people in the World Juniors. Um, so I'm not going to pretend that I'm an expert on Emil Heinemann and his upside here, but uh, maybe he could be a surprise in this deal. The fifth round pick obviously sweetens the pot. And Tyler Pitlick, that's kind of try to join the team, I guess, now as a 30-year-old uh, around that, um, that time frame, at least from what I looked at on Google for like the past two minutes. So um, am I a fan of this deal? I'd say yes, given the context. I don't know what you guys think. Um, but it's one of those things that in the context of the Montreal Canadiens that are definitely not going to do anything with this season and God knows for the future to have this type of haul, which is four assets and you include a first round pick, as long as you make that first round pick count, I think that this makes sense. Would I have loved to have, you know, a little bit more to say that there was a clear winner probably, but that's not the business of, you know, making hockey deals it needs to be for fair for both sides. And this is probably the first of many moves for Habs management as we head to the trade deadline. So let us know what you guys think. We are the No Respect Podcast. My name is Mackie. I'm missing Alex and Justin for this one. But this is the instant analysis. What do you guys think? Tyler Toffoli, no longer a Montreal Canadian, Calgary Flame. And if you're a Flames fan, what do you think about this? Are you guys excited? Was it too much? Let us know. Have a good one. Go Habs, go.